Hi, welcome to Shop Stop. This week, we're in the tool room at the BAE lab here at Oklahoma State. One of the things that we have here is we have our tools organized. You can see that there's uh, a place on the board for each tool so you know quickly where the tool is you want and whether a tool is missing or not. You're probably not gonna take it to this extreme, but if you do some pegboard in your garage or in your own shop and you're hanging tools on it, uh, just outline the tools and then you know where it goes and when it's not there. The reason we've got to do this is we may have, you know, 40, 50 people through here. And so we've got to have some way to keep things organized where everybody can utilize it, but yeah, we can keep track of it as well. So, and if you have high traffic area when you're to area, why then this might be something you might want to consider. The other thing that you probably want to organize in your shop is nuts and bolts. We all have stuff left over from projects or something that we've taken apart. And I bet everybody that watches the show has something that looks like this where, hey, I need a quarter inch, uh, two inch long bolt. Uh, uh, well, we can dig through here and find it. Or I've strived to get a little bit more organized in my shop. Maybe not to the level that we are here, though. What we've done here is these are just uh, things we found around and, and procured. Uh, these are old card files from computer cards and holding uh, programs and so we took these and trade them and then we put uh, sorted out our nuts and bolts and put them in here and organized them. I'll open this. So those are things you can find around that are for sale or on surplus that you can pick up. We've also got these cans, a can system that has been set up. Now obviously there are not cans available, tin cans available, but Randy's got some, a can here in his hand, he'll show you. One of the things that I've tried to use, at least in my house, is uh, use the new plastic coffee cans or uh, some of the powdered drink cans that are a little bit smaller. You know, I'm not gonna have the need to have uh, uh, 80 quarter inch bolts laying around, but I could have 15 or 20. And so if I get those things labeled and uh, screws and stuff like that, the thing is, is all those cans are the same size. So you can start building your container system or a means for holding those and, uh, and keeping them organized. It certainly cuts down the time when you're looking for something in the middle of a project. Now, when you're sorting out the mess of nuts and bolts you've collected, you can put them in a, uh, make you a little deal like this with an opening. Get them all sorted out into one size, and then take your can that you're going to put them into, and you can uh, put them in there without any uh, having to drag them with your hand. Pick them up; it'll just flow right in. We've got several of these because we've have cans with with different items in them. You can lay them out and look at them all, and then stick them back in your can. So. Nails, screws, uh, nuts and bolts, washers, all those kinds of things. Uh, these are all labeled here. A lot of us may not be using them for the same thing all the time. And so uh, we can work into some of an, an, an index system where now we, we're just gonna try to number our containers. And as we, whatever we have in our containers, then we just make us a key on the side that would say what's in each numbered container. Hope this helps to uh, organize some of the hardware and tools that you've got around your farmer's shop. We'll see you next week on Shop Stop. Mm -hmm.